So everyone, right, swing plane, really interesting stuff. Lots of people these days filming their swings with the mobile phones. Guys, if you don't have uh, the luxury of a TrackMan or a flight scope, I'm gonna show you in this video a little bit later on at how you can estimate your path and get really within a degree or two. Uh, I'm using actually both. I've got a flight scope and a TrackMan, so we get in there and I'll be able to, you know, using a lot of video, to show you how close you can get to estimating that. Now, we're gonna be looking at a few different styles of swings and understanding plane a little bit better. And also, I think there's a, a bit of information out there. Some of the stuff that we deem to be incorrect is not often incorrect. And you might actually see your own swing in this video. So something in this video for everyone. Ryan Moore on the right, and we have Jimenez on the left. Two wonderful ball strikers, two completely different positions. The reason I'm showing you this is just to give you an understanding of talent and the talent levels of some of these freaks on the on tour. The lead arm up into the 70 degree area there, cupped wrist, elbows right up, club face in a weak position. Jimenez overturning but the elbow pinched in. Now both players make remarkable moves here. Jimenez actually lifting back up, unwinding and just slotting this. And look how far he brings that right elbow underneath. What a downswing this is. And this is remarkable when you have a look at how can you actually get it back. I think I would hit myself with the golf club if I swung back like this. Have a look at this. This is just insane. And then he manages to the right leg kicks and the wrist angles and alignments change. He brings the elbow also underneath. Hips have spun really early. Now he's jumping in the air. Both players just bring it down in just ridiculous positions. Have a look at this. And feet airborne absolutely nails it. And they come out on the other side here like nothing's ever gone wrong. I mean, that's just remarkable. And for most of us out there, look, look, let's be honest, right? We don't have the skill level to do that. So guys, it's being drilled into us to shallow out the plane that uh, we have to lay the club off at the top. And it's really not true. So we're gonna have a look here at a couple of different styles of swings at the top for people looking at uh, shallowing out your plane. Now we've got Garcia here, and we can see that club laid off and pointing over this in this direction. Now. It really is a quite an amazing amount of flexibility. First off, you've got to be able to point your elbow down like that, which is not easy to do. So really almost hypermobile in this shoulder joint here. But what we're going to see, what an amazing goal swing is we see this elbow move even, even further in. See that move there? Now this move here, he's able now to actually steepen this onto the plane. And this is what we see a lot of the time. If you you know, wanting to be born a golfer in your next life, then you, you need a wish list. Look for a shoulder that has a credible amount of external rotation, and then you can do things like that. You're gonna see, however, McElroy that's coming in a lot steeper. Uh, both obviously wonderful ball strikers. And this club that points more to, down the line is actually gonna keep shallowing and shallowing and shallowing. And we can actually see it come down and get well underneath plane. So it's quite deceptive sometimes looking at plane. On worldclassgolf.com, we've got a series there for people that come in steep. It's called Deep to Shallow, which has really helped uh, a, a lot of people. But some people are actually coming in too far underneath plane. And, and this way, what we can do at certain times is, is look at running the club parallel. Because if actual fact, if Garcia swung back to the top like that, like uh, McElroy, he would come so far underneath plane, it would be unbelievable. Now, guys, when we look at impact plane, this is a area I'd like to talk to you about. And when we get a gauge of impact plane, when we're looking at impact, we can really get it back. Here's a here's a draw versus a fade. And when we get into when we get into the impact position, here's a top player dodge Kemmer hitting just some pure shots here. This is a, a hammered draw. We'll just draw a line up at impact here. And a lot of the time when I've been working with the V1 home studio and I'm looking at flight scope, I'm looking at track man, I'm looking at mid irons. And I get around to 58, 59, around that area, and, and we work our way back. We, all we can do is, if you're coming underneath that plane, uh, you're going to be coming a couple of degrees, you know, two, three degrees from the inside. And when we're looking at the fade, we'll just get down and into impact here. And when we're getting a fade, it's 57, maybe a degree off. But when we go back from the impact plane, see how that, there's an interesting area looking at your impact plane, see how that's coming over the top. We're gonna get two, three degrees here from the outsides. And, and running often a lot of the time up the 58 degree plane line, 
we're getting you know around zero for a lot of people when you're looking at your six irons, your seven irons, your eight irons. So this home studio, uh, the view is the best system in the world to analyze your swing. And uh, on worldclassgolf.com, it's, it's sold yearly for ninety nine a year, and uh, it's through the partners of V One, which normally six hundred bucks a year. So you can get in there and have a look at all sorts of uh, different things in your swing and saving it. World Class Golf Instruction has over seven hundred detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. And join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. Now I've, uh, we'll get into my, I hit this one at a zero degree. This is also an interesting one for people looking at plane. So we'll just go back here, I'll just get that on. It's 59, so it's really within a degree or two. Now I, this was at 0 0.6, I think, the face. So you can see that even though it's, it's there's your impact plane, even though it looks to be a little bit steep here, you see that shaft plane at that stage of the swing there, but when you see it in the next frame, See now that it's going slightly through the forearm. Now this might sound like it's a lot of technique, but it's actually not. You get that, now it's pointing outside the ball line, and that one I hit, I hit it pretty good. So, you know, looking at a couple of positions, just to finish off in the video, when we're, when we're looking at different entries, you know, into the golf ball, obviously when we're looking at something like this, I'll just draw that up, when it's tipping over, we don't want to have anything like that. It's just tipping over and it's not a deliberate fade, and then we're crashing over and into the wall. And this is the type of thing that we're, fixing up a lot of people with the online lessons and different stuff. We don't want to have that type of thing. Get in there and film your swings, guys. Really, really important to do. Sometimes we can take it back, you know, in sort of different positions here, and that's how we sort of slot it coming back down, which is also really, really important. But certain moves like Oost Hoisen here, where we're seeing something come down, where we look like it's, it's a little bit steep and people would think that's jammed up. It depends on how your right hip works through the ball I mean, he's really bringing that in behind the hands quite well. And uh, through and into impact, he's able to keep this left hip up. So anyone looking for, you know, like online lessons, if you're looking to improve your golf, check out craighansongolf.com and uh, do yourself a favor. Have a look at worldclassgolf.com. There's a thousand videos on there just covering all sorts of different areas. Guys, swing plane, interesting area. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you like the video, like the video, we'll catch you next time.